Hello everyone, welcome to What If DXD vs React is Say from a Different Timeline Part 12. Before we start please go support Unison Skeeth 666 for writing that awesome fanfic. Now let's begin. Ep 49 Siege on the Fortress. Arena Room. A scene showing everyone else currently is watching a sparring match between Udo Sauji, Zenovia Tomo Karloman, Arthur and Jean against Shiru. Shiru. Not bad giving a smirk while casually parry all of the incoming sword slash all of you are pretty good. But seven of them seeing that no matter how much they tried to break through Shiru defense for quite some time but nothing works decided to jump making some distance. Zenovia. TCH he's really tough no matter how much we tried to break through his defense, nothing works at all. Arthur. Nodding indeed his movements were pretty casual and had lots of openings but it wasn't actually the case when think about it. Udo. It's like he's luring all of us two to attack the opening he showed to us. Sauji. You're right about that Udo I have noticed about it myself, thinking to himself how long he has fought this way the style of his .it is like he always dances with death to create such style not, to mention .for some reason he looks like he completely familiar with my sword techniques .but I pretty sure I never met a fraud against him before. Remembering that Shiru always managed to telegraph his movements and parry all his attacks perfectly, but in the stand where people are watching, Skeeth. Chuckle knowing what Sauji was thinking about considering that he has fought against Akita Sauji in his universe many times, he's the worst opponent to you Sauji-san. Surzich. I never thought that I would meet someone that can completely overwhelm Sauji. Rafia. Yeah it is, Shiru-san is an exceptional swordsman himself but the way he is fighting is. Frowning a bit. Azizel. I get what you mean, it's like he doesn't care about his life, wasn't it also frowning remembering the course of the entire sparring match. Well many can't help but frown when thinking about it. Michael. Notice that Gabriel currently trying to hold back her tears Gabriel what's wrong? Gabriel. It was his soul. I can see so much suffering from it how long he has suffered. While Ritsuka who overheard that can't help but remember the dream sequence he got after making a contract with Amiya, he knows making him frown a bit. Ritsuka. Thinking yeah he really has suffered so long. Being betrayed by his ideals and those he saved. Brought out of his musing by Olga who patting his shoulder knowing what he was thinking about. Peter. Also remembered when he first met Shiru and was told by him about his own life, after he decided to open up to everyone you and I truly are similar in that regard for being betrayed ha huh, Shiru no matter what people say you are a true hero. Skeeth, Korbanik. You too Peter. Now back to the arena. Amo. Sure we're using just wooden swords for this bar. Broader hands up shakily pointing at the two shinai that have tiger strap Shiru currently dual wielding it, but I swear those shinai are cursed. But others in the arena swear they just heard the sounds of tiger roaring coming out of nowhere, making some of them flinch a bit, while Shiru hit his smirk, knowing what actually happened. Jean. You also think that way too I thought I was the only one. Harleman. Anyway, this is a pretty valuable experience for us, it's not every day we can fight against any swordsman from another world, with the others nodding in agreement with her statement. Sauji. Chuckle the young lady is right turned towards Shiru very well Shiru-san, pardon us let us continue the match. Shiru. Let out another smirk very well, but all of them continuing the match making the spectators entertained watching it. Sometimes later, scene showing everyone currently enjoying their meal courtesy of Issei and some others. Issei. Man I never thought that Shirusen was really good with swords too is there anything you weren't good at all? While well, everyone else from Xcast also being curious turned towards Shiru gives a smirk as a response, coughing silently to himself. Dot not dot cough. Being dense cough. But both Skeeth and Korbanek hiding their smirk hearing that while well, Shiru eyes who overheard it are twitching from irritation. Either. Anyway, you have improved to say, here's some other recipes that your other self have made during the course, I know him give him a book of recipe with a say gratefully accept, Asia. Thank you either San. Either. Chuckle, you're welcome, Skeeth. Well, seems like everyone has finished eating so who's ready for the next viewing. But everyone else brought their hand up before doing their own dishes before heading towards the viewing room, Skeeth. Well then let us begin point the remote to the screen. Screen open. Scene change Yukumo Guild Hall. Two days later since the chaotic hunt. Scene showing either followed with Maria Alyssa Seal and Claire just getting inside the guild, before noticing Issei Vali Drag and Albion currently are washing their own palico back on the hot spring. But Ritsuka Romani and Olga nearly spat out their drink after seeing Claire while thinking the same thing in alarm. Three of them. Is that the type earth? How she was there. Skeeth. Talking telepathically with three of them together with Shiru just look like the girl wasn't her she only looked the same physically. All the three of them managed to collect themselves despite being startled from the unexpected telepathic communication, replying back to Skeeth. Ritsuka. Are you sure Skeeth and Dot both of them were eerily similar? Shiru. He is even though I'm shocked when I see her for the first time. Armani. Skeeth San is right, there are several key differences between that girl and type Earth if we look closely good thing they only looks the same. Olga. Wii.for a second I thought that the type Earth chose to go to that world living there, Skeeth. 
Nah not a chance, remember that world rules she would be rendered powerless if she accidentally went there making her only as powerful as normal human she would be screwed if that happens. But three of them remember the rules of making them breathe out sighs of relief. Peter. Notice three of them sighing what's wrong you three, something wrong. Ritsuka. Oh, it's nothing wrong Peter-san. Peter. Well if you say so shrugs before continue watching the viewing. Meanwhile with others, either. Heh, seems like this viewing will be showing that quest huh. Now this gonna be interesting turn to cast with a smirk before any of you ask one word. Spoilers thinking while hiding his sigh whelp. Time to prepare myself for upcoming embarrassment then. But the rest of cast sweat drops hearing that well Skeeth and Corbinuk wiped out proud tears hearing that. Either. Yo, say. Oh either san it's been a while a moment together with the other three, and their own palico finish washing up before changing back to more casual clothes. Scene changed to everyone currently hanging out on long table having a meal while talking with either, trying to ask why Volley has tons of bruises compared to say Drag and Albion but, the four of them refused to answer with either, decided not to push the matter anymore. Volley. That's what you got for being an idiot other me. Iku. But an idiot that can still kick our ass for sure with the rest of cast nodding in agreement, either. It's been a while since I seen you guys, and seems like you four have become stronger huh? Ali. Well of course we will but before that let out a Cheshire grin seems like there's something going on with you 5a. Wiggling his eyebrows while saying that, but Alyssa Drag Albion also with their own palicos, let out an amused chuckle seeing either with Maria Alyssa Seal and Claire coughing nervously with their cheek tinted red from the teasing, but in the room either was in the same situation as his past self being teased by others, Drag. Sue who confesses first. And how long has it been? Maria. Playing with her own hair while blushing a bit w well. We confessed to him nearly a month ago since he came back from his mission, seal. Honestly we are afraid that he will reject us poking both her fingers together blushing, Alyssa. Imagine our surprise that he decided to accept all of us after telling him we were willing to share grin bashfully, Claire. So we've been dating since then, Ollie. Who, seems like either sent came back several days after we went back to our world together with Vaffer snapping their fingers, feeling they missed an opportunity to watch the event, they say. Several days. Wasn't it? Skeeth. Oh forgot to mention that world timeline would be slow to one month to one day of the original world, for those that visit there so, once those four are back in their world both worlds, time will be flowing at the same time again, but Xcast let out a new oh hearing that, Greg. We should have stayed a little bit before we go back shrugs oh well what done is done, Albion. Anyway either send I never thought that you would accept their confession just like that, knowing you you would say you'll think about it first with everyone turned towards either, who let out a cough being put under the spotlight just like that, either. W well back when I'm still on the expedition mission back then, I've met with some other hunters they said enough moping and emoing around try to open my heart to others so I decided to heed their advice, besides I don't think I was attractive enough, imagine my surprise when they confessed towards me after hanging around with them several times rubbing back of his head, but others give him are you serious look hearing that, the same thing happened making either coughing embarrassed, either. Oh come on I never thought about getting a girlfriend back then cut me some slack will ya? They say. Bro either san are you serious you might not have noticed it. But tons of newbie female hunters we met back then been expressing their thoughts about how attractive you are but nervous to approach you, either. Blinking his eyes owlishly really. I never noticed that. Anyway I'm content with them gesturing to Maria Alyssa Seal and Claire, they are the best girlfriends ever and I glad I accepted their confession smile happily. Meanwhile in Tavid many females clenched their fist close to their heart feelings like they lost their opportunity towards a certain traveler. Tavid females. Traveler. While in another part of Tavid, girl with golden hair. On each and dot where are you? Back to the viewing, Ali. Let out a snort I'm not surprised if there's more girls joining your harem either san, but either nearly spat out the drink he's drinking hearing that, either. H harem. Claire. Well if that does ever happen, we'll gladly accept them into the harem if they truly love you, either con nodding in agreement with other girls, either. W are you girls serious. Mouth gaping in shock being unable to believe what he just heard, Maria. Millimeters hum as long as they truly love you we don't mind sharing you with them, Alyssa. Yup, sharing is caring after all, besides pretty sure some other girls you've met before probably hold their feelings towards you, but Lee there is still blushing unable to believe what he just heard, Auden. You ha 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 those girls are a keeper, treat them well will ya? Either. I will, they are wonderful girls, and I won't trade them for anything else, I say. Well I never thought that we would see either send being completely caught off till this day ha. Huh? Hi say. Yep meister, usually me if either, always been the cool one meow, Greg. What a perplexed face he's making right now, Albert. This event shall be recorded in history meow, Baffer. Me wish them to be happy forever, while the females literally melt seeing the palico's way of talking, Seraphol. My heart can't take any more from this overdose of cuteness. Hiroka. Same. They're too adorable Naya. 
Asia. They truly are. Scene showing all of them done talking about either love life before continuing talking with each other is say. Su either Sen been meaning to ask, how's your progress to surpass master rank? Either. Who when did you guys hear about that? Ali. Well, Tsukasa Sen told us after he saved us back then. Either. Realized what Bali was talking about knowing about their unexpected incident I see well right now I'm about halfway there it was really tough though but I'm getting there surely how the hell that guy managed to reach that rank in span of 6 months by going solo, I'll never know shaking head in wonder, Greg. Well, knowing what he does his battle experience must be massive to help him reach such level, Albion. Totally is, either. Speaking of, Saseu. Get inside the guild hall stopping a bit before shouting loudly guys we got an emergency quest, with everyone turned towards her and alert wondering what it is, Panaha. Came in after her there's a elder dragon heading towards one of the fortress, everyone. What? Arachiel. An elder dragon huh, seems like one of them are heading towards populated area, Shem has I. I can't blame the young girl for being panicked a catastrophic level monster about to attack lots of civilians, Isaka. I hope they will arrive on time if not many lives will lost look worriedly towards the screen, Itsuka. So one of possible quests we will get in the future would be a siege type huh, Shiru. Take out some notebook better take some notes about this, this would be a valuable experience for us once we go to that world to prepare ourselves, Peter. Got it planning to do the same too together with Ritsuka Olga and Romani also take out some notebook preparing to write down any valuable information, Issei. Guys, seems like we have to put our promotion quest on hold, Ali. No need to say more this is an important matter with serious look, Greg. Either San, we'll help out on this mission too, Albion. From what we know, Dindorma has been on constant attacks and lots of their hunters were currently out of commission or not in the town, they've been requesting our help this time, I say Vafa Ray Galber. We'll also help to meow, Maria Alyssa Seal Claire. Same with us, either. Heh, thanks for being willing to help turn to Saseu and Kanaha, when will the Elder Dragon arrive to Dindorma? Saseu. From the guild estimation it will arrive in a week, Kanaha. But if it comes worse to worst it will arrive in five days at least, either. Nodding I see that enough time for us to arrive turn others alright everyone get ready for the mission go prepare the essentials and anything that would help us during this mission we'll head out in 30 minutes go go go, everyone. Hi give a salute before going preparing for the mission, or. Spoken like a true veteran a either san, either. Have to, someone needs to take charge for the mission, considering that an elder dragons were about to attack a populated area any elder dragon threat must be treated cautiously, no matter what the situation is, Serzich. Hmm. Seems like we have to wait and see, with everyone preparing to see what will happen next, scene change, 5 days later, scene change fortress area 1, right now I'm using the old version of fortress because that's what I'm familiar for now, scene showing 9 of them was using binoculars looking into a large figure in distance slowly approaching before 4 palicos joining them, with Issei and his group using their repaired Deviljo equipment set with Issei and Vali using dual swords, Drag and Albion using gunlance, while Maria Alyssa Seal and Claire are using the Rathalos equipment set with Maria using Bolas and Claire using light bowgun and seal using heavy bowgun, but Lee they're still using his usual equipment set but using the great sword instead of long sword, either. Turn to others well then everyone, it's time, with everyone nodding before turning to approaching figure, with exception of our host and Skeeth, everyone else is mesmerized seeing the elder dragon, Skeeth. Let us introduce it to all of you, this elder dragon name is, Horbanik. Lao Shan Lung, either. The old mountain dragon, great red, Whistle pretty big I gotta say for normal people standards, Azazel. My estimation it was as long as around 69 meters I think realized what he just said okay that sounds wrong. But others especially most of the females giving Azazel a stink eye from the accidental vulgar choice of words, Skeeth. Regarding what it sounds like Azazel wasn't wrong on how long it was, either. Turn to the girls alright, seeing that you girls are using ranged weapon, we're counting on you four to deal as much damage as possible at the spot I was talking previously before it goes towards the next area, Maria. Got it alright girls let's do this, but the four hunters proceeds to unleash countless amounts of firepower towards their intended target, either. Alright turn to the palicos I'm counting on you four to clear the remobras or any other annoyance that lurks around the path to the final area and also preparing all cannons and ballistas at the final area while also protecting it from any disturbance in case there's another horde of remobra appear and attack the fortress gate and the supplies. The four palicos give a salute hearing their task. Hi say. We got it Miachif let's go guys together with Vaffer Reg and Alber leave doing their own tasks. Vaffer. Let's freaking go Mio. Reg. Time to roll. Alber. Let's get this hut started Mio, while others chuckle seeing the Palico's antics, Alyssa. Shame our Palicos are recuperating, they are pouting all the time hearing that they are unable to join this quest, Seal. Well it can't be helped at least we'll got a story to tell after we return home, Claire. 
Give a smirk, and that's more the reason to return home safely right girls? Maria. Yep, you're right together with Alyssa and Seal grinning back, I say. Remabra. Be either. A kind of snake wyvern of monsters it was originally classified as flying wyvern but the guild changed it to snake wyvern for unknown reasons fact about Remabra is that they often seen near Alder Dragon so they're considered as incoming sign of disaster so if you ever seen one in any area you're hunting big chance that an Elder Dragon was in the area, Greg. Pretty interesting any other facts about Elder Dragon you're willing to share. Armani. Yeah, Drag Sen is right, any other knowledge about Elder Dragons would be useful for us together with everyone else nodding in agreement, be either. Well, another way to know if Elder Dragon was in the area is that the area was devoid of any kind of weaker monster, except the one that can be considered as Elder Dragon tier some of you probably have known about it but I'll list it just in case, Deviljo Rajang Basil Juice Apex Rampage Apex Frenzy, Deviants or other stronger subspecies of monster that was stronger than the original species but in rare case some originals or weaker monster will also be in the area too, Ritsuka. Hmm so we need to be alert about those two key points during a hunt it seems, either. Honestly it wasn't supposed to be possible in a low rank quest but that phenomenon could possibly happen, regardless of what kind of quest is my advice is treat any quest with caution, Shiru. Very well it was good advice, only an idiot would ignore it, with many nodding in agreement, either. Then another key part to know if Elder Dragon was in the area, is what the guild and ecologists think about Elder Dragon they deem the Elder Dragon as type of phenomenons, such as living disasters, cataclysms or forces of nature given form that defy the logic and reside outside the ecosystem, remember Jen Morin and Kieran, with how they can blend or control nature itself. But cast nodding so for example if there's an elder dragon related to flame or wind the temperature of the area would become unnaturally hot or the area was under constant windstorms Kieran for example, you can feel faint static electricity in the place Kieran traverse through the dangerous thing about elder dragon is that they are dangerously intelligent, especially those that survive and conquer against those that tried hunt them they can observe the pattern of hunters that tried to hunt them before outsmarting them so be careful same with monsters that was considered as elder dragon tier but everyone in deep thought hearing that, Shiru. The more I heard about Elder Dragons, the more amazed I am, Peter. You're right, they're different kinds of opponents we ha fought before, those people that lived in that world deserve respect, Olga. It is how they managed to survive this long I never know but I feel that what we learned so far barely scratched the surface. With exception of Skeeth and Korbanik everyone make a grim expression hearing her statement especially either who was in deep thought, either. Yeah. All of you would be shocked upon learning about the ancient civilization especially equal dragon weapon. That thing shouldn't exist. With how wrong it is. Hold back a shiver remembering the first time seeing it not to mention dot many more. But either and the others chuckle seeing the girl's determination. Be either. Turn to say and others all right then I'll stay here in case of sudden remobbers attack to protect them in meantime you four know what to do right. say. Yeah, we'll head out to the next area leave to next area. Bali. Godspeed either send you girls leave after giving a thumbs up. Greg. Alright, we leave you five lovebirds first leave while laughing all the way, Albion. Go flirt to your heart contents haha leave while holding back a smirk, but either and the girls were blushing from the teasing temporarily stopping what they're doing to collect themselves, but either was blushing a bit from the reminder and also from others teasing, either. Ahem shall we continue girls. Seal. Why yeah. Claire. Still blushing before noticing an incoming remobbers remobbers at 3 o'clock, with Maria and Alyssa about to point their weapons to the incoming remobbers before stopping after either shaking his head, either. There's no need to you girls continue blasting I'll hold them off proceeds to throw his great sword piercing some remobbers, killing them before jumping upwards grabbing his great sword and did an overhead slash killing off the rest of remobbers while still in midair. Seen showing either swiftly jumping around easily killing off any incoming remobbers not letting them touch the girls. Sauji. Whistle in amazement so that's how a master rank hunter fights, very impressive that you you move easily despite you are carrying such a massive sword, Zenovia. That sword is even bigger than Durandal.A and D, he can move easily in such heavy armor like that swore she's gonna train harder in the future, either. Well in that line of work you have to get used to wearing such armor or wielding heavy weapons, despite those who go to that world, would become as powerful as normal humans at first, Itsuka. Remembered something either sent Skeeth and I just remembered that on previous viewing they said that they choose the ninja armor, well Metatron yell ninja, upon hearing that to help them move faster and deal extra damage what does it mean by that? But everyone else turned to Skeeth, Corbina can either for answer, boy either, don't tell me you forgot to tell them about armor effects. Either was planning to tell them about it on the next training session but, since Ritsuka asked about it, guess it wouldn't hurt to tell them about it now by the way Skeeth and gesture to Xcast, do you not tell them about armor effects too? Skeeth. 
Coughing embraced honestly, I kinda forgot about it with Xcast give him are you serious look, but since Ritsuka brought out this topic, I'll hold small session about armor effects use the remote, pausing the viewing do everyone mind if I pause the viewing to explain about armor effects, with everyone shaking their head signaling they don't mind at all, skeeth. Alright I'll keep it simple as I can, every equipment part comes with special abilities imbued within them and every equipment set if wear together will grant them special abilities for example, there's an armor that can give the wearer an enhanced regeneration factor, strengthen any weapon elemental effect or status effect, or even make the hunter sharpening their weapons from being dull to their supposed peak sharpness with just one stroke, there's even armor that can make weapons the wearer are using more sharper than they originally was, Surzich. Interesting what about the equipment they use in previous viewing what are its effects? I'll explain it, the Nargakuga armor they use grants them an increased leaping or dodging distance and, also if put in gaming terms, it give an increased invincibility frame while dodging but they have to time it right while dodging an attack, lastly also in gaming terms, give the wearer an increased chance when dealing an increased attack damage so it was increased critical chance in a nutshell, I say. That was very ninja again Metatron yelling ninja when overheard that armor I gotta say, Horbanik. Some hunters notice that some armor parts from different sets if worn together, can grant them an even better effect than normal equipment set, albeit it was over-specialized and lastly equipment slots and jewels, but the dragons in the audience per cup upon hearing word jewels, skeeth every equipment part has different amounts of slots in them to use it, we need to use different kinds of special jewels that can be found while mining in any area, depending on the jewels by tempering them with certain monster parts, then inserting it to any armor equipment slot, those enchanted jewels can enhance the ability the armor already have, or grant them any abilities the armor originally doesn't have, example in previous viewings those four using enchanted jewels that grant them increased attack damage but, if the hunters decided not to using that jewels in their current armor, and switch to other armor, they can bring the armor with those jewels to any blacksmiths to take out those jewels, they say. Man dot that sounds absolutely awesome, Greg. Indeed it is even a seemingly weak armor can become stronger with different kinds of effects huh? Ah that's right, speaking of effects, some armor also has negative effects, for example, an effect that makes the wearer more hungry than usual or some deadly enough to reduce the armor defense, or make the poison effect stronger and opposite of critical chance it, give the hunter some chance to deal lower damage than they usually are capable of so some hunters use those jewels to counter those negative effects, as is all. I see well there's nothing free in the world so it's understandable that some armor gives positive and negative effects, Akabiel. Yeah, there's a balance between everything, Torbanik. And in some rare cases some weapons also have available slots in them, Michael. Well, I'm glad that the people in that world deserve more available means to fight back against the monster, either. Yeah we have to use everything we got to fight back, Skeeth. Alright now we already covered the topic about armor effects, it's time for us to continue the viewing point the remote to the screen continuing the viewing, while thinking bet the readers wanting to see the rest of the hunt, instead of reading about things they probably have known, scene change fortress area 2, 5 minutes later, scene showing Issei and others have finished preparing themselves before noticing their target appear, Issei, alright guys, let's do this together with other unsheath their weapons here goes, Ollie. Let's go. But both of them run forward using Drag and Albion Shield as makeshift platform jumping forward landing on top of Lao Shan Lung head before dealing countless amounts of slash to Lao Shan Lung face, while Drag and Albion continuously bombarding both side of its chin, but the dragon continuously moving forward without flinching at all, making four of them widen their eyes in shock. They say. You gotta be kidding me. Ollie. It takes all that attack without even flinching. They say. I lost count of how many amounts of slash they just did but didn't that dragon even feel it. Ollie. Heck the weapon they are using was powered with dragon element how is that possible? Greg. Don't tell me that dragon was resistant to it. Either. No it wasn't, Lao Shan Lung was actually weak towards the dragon element followed with fire element it definitely felt it but the thing about Lao Shan Lung is that it has so much vitality before the damage it sustained truly affected but everyone continue watching in anticipation after hearing the explanation. I say. TCH change of plan volley I'll take the right foreleg, you'll take the left one we'll have to slow it off, Ali. Got it, let's go with both him and Issei jump down towards their target to do what they are planned, Albion. You guys go with the plan, both me and Drag will continue shelling it, Drag. Let's go Albion, Albion. Ooh, but both of them jump back several steps before using blast dash charging forward before slamming down the lance tip on Lao Shan Lung snout and unleash all available shelling, making Lao Shan Lung flinch before both of them retreating back to reload and sharpening their weapon using the chance. While both Issei and Volley are continuously using blood wind, darting all over the places to slice through Lao Shan Lung forelegs, slowly chipping its scales. Greg. Damn I gotta admit I like the gun lance. Albion. 
Yep, flying forward before unleashing that blast is honestly satisfying, I say. Man, the other us were really fast, they're evading while attacking at the same time. Ollie. Hmm, now I understand why both of the other us are using dual blades, Arthur. They're using any opportunity they got to deal as much damage as possible, either. You four we're here Drake Albion get aside with both Drake and Albion without looking back decided to step aside, seen showing either and the others finally came joining them while running, especially either, who was rushing forward while scraping his greatsword while running and delivering a devastating ground slash, right at the Lao Shan Lung Chin, making a tilting it head back roaring in pain from the unexpected attack, while both Issei and Bali jump back from being nearly get stomped by Lao Shan Lung legs, great red. Caressing his chin okay, I can't help but feel that, Tannen. Yep that looks painful truthfully, Azazel. Damn that was close they barely managed to avoid that, Boru. I don't think I want to see our son get turned into paste if they failed to avoid that rubbing Mickey back while she is trying to catch her breath from seeing the close call, Issei. Whoa, Ali. That was a close one, but all of them regroup before running towards the ramp heading towards the top of it, while Maria Lissa Seal and Claire taking some pot shot at Lao Shan Lung face while still running towards the ramp, Issei. Maria sent everyone, how's your ammo supplies? Maria. Not good, we're nearly used about half of our ammos, Claire. While in the first area we already unleashed most of our explosive ammo on its back, Seal. Even though we completely focus on the same point it barely flinch, Alyssa. That damn dragon was really tough as every dragon was thick-skinned. Gasp while realizing what she just said before slowly turned to Albion and Drag with apologetic look as sorry. I, I don't mean to offend you both, Drag. Do you ha 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 no worries even I thought that dragon was thick-skinned so I'll take it as a compliment, Albion. Chuckled Drake right no harm done, besides it was in the heat of the moment even I would be frustrated, if any of my attacks didn't do any effects so need to worry about it, Alyssa said, with Alyssa breath out sigh of relief feeling glad that the two dragon wasn't offended after hearing that while everyone let out an amused chuckle seeing that, either. He Alyssa Chan always the brash one but that's the part of her charm, Drake. I agree with my other self, it's logical that many dragons are thick-skinned so that they can survive in a harsher environment, Albion. And that makes us dragon hard to kill together with other dragons in the puff their chest out proudly. While well, most of X cast roll their eyes hearing that but can't help agreeing knowing that it was true. But well, either and others sweat drop seeing that, Ritsuka. You know what, despite being a supernatural beings they are really relaxed. Armani. Yeah I guess seeing is believing they also pretty fun to hang around with, Olga. Guess since their world has different circumstances between ours is what makes them pretty unique and how ironic that they are also more human than most human in our world, remembering her magic lessons with the Venelani Yusaka and some other females from X cast yesterday, with Ritsuka, Romani and Shiru nodding in agreement with her words, Shiru. Yeah I know what you mean by that Olga-san, compared to most mages in our world, they surprisingly have more morals and honesty, I'm kinda jealous a bit with people in that world, Peter. Thinking while nodding a bit yeah. Why the devil in my world wasn't like them. If not. My unborn child with MJ wind. Sighing while shaking his head to disperse depressing thoughts. What I am thinking. What is past is already done. Like Mr. Skeeth once said, just keep moving forward, then you will find your way. Seen showing everyone already getting up on the ramp while Maria Lissa, Seal, Claire continue shooting at the same spot they previously shot when they were at the Area 1, while either together with Issei Vali, Drag and Albion, are crafting another new batch of ammo, before passing them to Maria, Alyssa, Seal and Claire, that nod thankfully for that, Ajuka. Hm. I wonder why they keep shooting at the same spot thinking a bit before widening his from realization, after noticing a small crack in place, where they keep shooting at a who I see. Well some was like Ajuka also realized their intention, Azazel. Interesting. Now I gotta see how this plays out, either. Give a smirk towards those that already realized the plan well, seems like some of you managed to guess what we're doing, they say. What are you and the others are planning, suddenly make a deadpan face nah scratch that no need to answer I already know how you gonna reply. You're gonna say sorry no spoilers right. But either let out humorous chuckle from his say words, while others are shaking their head from either antics, but the girl stopped shooting after noticing the Lao Shan Lung getting up on its hind legs looking at them while growling before bringing it head back, making them widen their eyes, realizing what Lao Shan Lung gonna do, Maria. Oh shoot girls we need to get out of here, Alyssa. No need to say twice, Seal. Let's go, Claire. Go go go, but four of them running to the other side of the top of the ramp where either and others were at before, did a diving jump forward barely managed to evade Lao Shan Lung bite, from where they are previously at before Lao Shan Lung got on all four again, Asia. Uncovered her face peeking through the gap of her fingers that was close. Ravel. Breathe out a sigh of relief yeah they barely managed to dodge that, Lady Phoenix. It is they dodged that bite by merely a hair breath, Lady Citri. If they are late to react by merely a second, Lady Agares. 
No stop that thought what matters is that we should be glad they managed to escape that but either and others finally done helping the girls getting up the either. Everyone it's the time we've been waiting for, let's go, everyone. Ooh, with everyone jumping down on the spot where the girls are shooting previously at before carving for some materials, but the exception of Skeeth and Korbanik, everyone else is looking at either with disbelief, Ritsuka. Are all of you seriously doing that in the middle of the hunt? Either well we hunters have to use every opportunity to get more materials for future equipment was I right? Said it with a smirk on his face, Shiru. Well I can't refute that in that line of work, people should use every opportunity they got but that was pretty reckless, I gotta say hey who I am kidding chuckle who I am to talk about being reckless, Peter. So that's your aim heading at the same spot to weaken that area to carve for materials but I feel that there's more than that, either. Hey, just wait and see all of you will know why, but they continue carving while Lao Shan Lung trying to shake them off, but to no avail until they are near the end of the area, Sirzich. Let me guess all of you are using a tremor related abilities was it, either. Yep that ability was a must have when attempting this kind of quest, that's why if you guys noticed that other Issei and Vali are fine despite the tremors when they are moving around the forelegs, either. Alright I think that's enough carving for now, let's go for the next plan, with everyone bringing out their own anti-dragon setting it up all over the back of Lao Shan Lung, before they jump off landing on superhero landing pose side by side with either in the middle, and the bombs exploding right after they land making a dramatic scene, Issei. Damn that was so cool, Greg. Agreed that was epic I have to admit, Ollie. Again I got to say I was jealous for my other self, having managed to experience such things, Albion. Ha same with me, Hauki. Anyone got the picture of that, Iku? I managed to take a picture of that, with nearly everyone rushing towards him for extra copies, Office. This is so cool together with Lilith star-eyed looking at their own copy of the picture, either. Heh, thanks for the pictures I gotta frame it later, Iku. No problem man glad to serve give thumbs up, Azizel. But still that dragon was incredibly tough, despite taking the brunt of 9 anti-dragon bomb on its back it can still move on like that, but those from Xcast nodding agreeing with Azizel remembering how destructive those bombs are, Sirzich. But I wonder why they don't use another one, pretty sure everyone can only bring two of it, Odin. My guess they are probably planning to use their last anti-dragon on the next area but how they gonna use it I don't know, Shiva. Guess we have to wait and see. After it is done roaring in pain from the unexpected bombardment Lao Shan Lung moves faster towards the next area, while its tail swings around trying to hit the escaping hunters that manage to evade the tail while running away. With our hunters head towards the camp before heading to the next area. Scene change fortress area 3. Scene showing everyone just done planting all of their own large barrel bombs on the path where Lao Shan Lung head would be. They say. Together with many others gulping down their own saliva, seeing how many large barrel bombs are planted, I'm soon not gonna stay between those bombs. I still wanted to live. Genshiru. Damn. Either San that was really vicious strategy there now I can't help but pity that dragon. Ow cow. Yep no one wanted to get bombed alive. While either was grinning to the point many are feel disturbed seeing his grin. While Skeeth and Corbin wiping proud tear upon seeing either expression while those that see those three action can't help but think. Others their bunch of psychos. Before Drake together with Albion standing side by side using dragon breath, amping up their weapons before using wyvern fire, after Lao Shan Lung head was at the bombs, Drake and Albion. Take this. The instant the explosion of wyvern fire connects large explosion occurs making the Lao Shan Lung roaring in pain before fainting falling down on its stomach, with everyone using the chance to deal as much damage as possible in meantime, either. Now's the chance, I say. Here goes, Ollie. Let's get this party started, with either dealing damage on its head slowly chipping its head, while Issei with Drag on its right foreleg, with Vali and Albion on left foreleg, meanwhile Seal and Maria on its right hind legs, while Lilith and Claire on its left hind left, after a certain amount of time, with Issei and Vali, Issei. Notice the place they're currently at was on the middle part of the area Vali over there, Vali. See where Issei are pointing at showing the small ramp oh nice idea dude let's go, BDRAIG and Albion. You guys go we'll handle our part, but both of them running towards the small ramp climbing it, Issei. You're ready Vali. Vali. I'm always ready, but both of them jump down towards the previous spot where they used the anti-dragon bomb, and while in mid-air they use spiral slice, spinning down like a corkscrew drilling through the damaged area, ISSEI and Vali. Oog. Now with Drag and Albion, Drag. Notice that his own gun lance finally cooled down nice it's finally done with the cool down, Albion. Hey Drag you know what I'm thinking right now, Drag say no more, with two of them using dragon breath amping up their gun lance before piercing it through the small opening between the scales at the shoulder area, Bragg and Albion. Feel the burn, but both of them proceeds to unleash dragon blast inflicting serious damage, burning the insides of Lao Shan Lung shoulders, while with Maria and Seal, Maria. Let's go Seal, Seal. 
mm him, with Maria using triple volley followed up with Seal using Void Piercer to their intended target slicing through the scales. And now with Alyssa and Claire. Alyssa. Let's do that move Claire. Claire. Grin I thought you wouldn't ask. But both of them use Bullet Geyser at their target, creating an explosion that destroys most of the scales. And lastly with either. Either. Here goes .hnggh Soria use Lion's Maw before jumping forward using Moonbreaker, dealing massive damage while cutting off Lao Shan Lunghorn, but the screen splitting up showing everything happening simultaneously at the same time, instantly waking up Lao Shan Lung from the pain making it start thrashing around with everyone evading to avoid from being hit, while many of those in the audience are shouting excited seeing that, they say. Whoa that's freaking awesome, Ali. You're right that was splendid move on our other self part, Sauji. Together with other swordmen in the room are clapping seeing what other Issei and Bali just did very impressive, using that move at the same time side by side, showing how much they trust each other, despite how much they're bickering, Surzich. Still grinning you're right Sauji that was spectacular move I got to say, Azizel. Sure I wasn't their adopted father figure to both of them in that universe but I can't help but feel proud wiping a proud tear, Greg. Ha 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 good job other me burn it alive mu ha 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 ha, Albion. Now I get why you use flame sure I wasn't there, but the feeling of burning something is awesome, great red. You got that right nothing beats burning things alive, while most of the other dragons in the room are nodding while grinning with bloodthirsty looks making some sweat drops, Diamat. Rubbing forehead from headaches great. Why I am surrounded with bunch of arsonists, Rias. Look at the mom, Grafia, those girls were really awesome star eyed seeing the girls move on the screen, and Alana. You're right dear, despite wearing such restrictive armor, those four can do such maneuver easily like that, Raphia. Indeed, they must have trained hard to reach such level, Ritsuka. Ua that was awesome either san, Olga. Indeed you deserve such praise doing that either san, either. Give a smirk ha, huh? you both are welcome, thanks for the compliment, Shiru. Chuckle now now Ritsuka, Olga san no need to stroke his ego bigger than it already is, Peter. Well, can't be helped that move was awesome to see chuckle, Armani totally is, with everyone seeing that the enraged Lao Shan Lung are still thrashing around while moving making them nodding to each other, seeing that there's no point trying to attack it for how dangerous it is with them decided to head back to the camp, restocking their supplies and taking small rest, before heading towards the next area, scene change fortress area 4, they say. Man, just from the music alone we can tell things are getting intense, Udo. You're right, despite how much damage it suffered that dragon are moving faster than before, it must be angry to just ignore the damage it suffered so far, Tobio. Yeah they got to move fast while dealing as much damage as possible many lives was at stake if they failed to hunt the dragon, scene showing everyone dealing as much damage before heading to the next ramp with the ranged attackers in the group taking pot shots while running, meanwhile there's a bunch of T-Rox are falling down from the top of the canyon towards the dragon to slow it down, Sona. Adjusting her glasses those falling rocks. Could it be the people from the guilds came to help too? Either. Yep, those from the guild already prepared those rocks in advance as support, seen showing everyone finally at the top of the ramp, timing the time when to jump down. Either. Now, with everyone jumping down to the targeted spot before each of them cutting loose, attacking the damaged carapace trying to trim it down, making Lao Shan Lung back bear from the constant attacks. Indra. Whistle amaze damn I gotta say all of them don't hold back attacking huh? Brahma. My guess is that the reason all of you used the anti-dragon bombs previously was to soften its back wasn't it? Either. Yep one time wasn't enough, Vishnu. I have a feeling of what gonna happen next is what all of you are planning from the start, but either giving a smirk is a response making others shaking their head amused with either antics, I say. Notice that Lao Shan Lung was closing towards to the final area guys it's time, Greg. Damn this bastard was that pissed off huh, Albion. Yeah totally ignoring us, Ali. I've got to say this is one dedicated and motivated dragon, either. Enough talk let's do what we have planned, others. Hi, with everyone having an easier time traversing through Lao Shan, Lung back seeing that most of it hard carapace was destroyed, are planting their last anti-dragon bomb on every part of Lao Shan Lung, back before jumping down but not before. Everyone. Here's a present from all of us. While in midair everyone turned back before throwing all their mega barrel bombs to every anti-dragon bomb, detonating it making a large explosion that going up to the skies that can be seen all over the canyon, support from Guild A. Damn that's one big explosion I got to say either San and others truly went overboard with this one with many of his colleagues nodding in agreement while still being amazed with what they just see, Azizel. Damn indeed now that's what we call explosion, but many of those watching can't help but feel the heat from their seats, Surzich. On top of the anti-dragon bomb they add those mega barrel bombs making a deadly combination, Seraphal. Yeah sure we weren't there but the feature that Skeeth Sen added before makes us feel the heat what I can say is I really don't want to be in the center of that explosion, with many nodding in agreement, Greg. 
I have to say dot that dot is one of the most beautiful things I ever seen in my life, Albion. Yep dot I agree with you Drake. Great red. It was a truly mesmerizing sight ain't it? Tannen. It truly is. Prom Kruich. I agree my friend. But everyone sweat drop seeing the dragon's newly awakened arsonist tendencies. While sitting away further from them feeling disturbed. They say. Hey Vali. Protectively hugging both office and Lilith that thankfully wasn't like the other dragons. Vali. Yes hi do. They say. Drag is scaring me. Vali. Not gonna lie dot even I'm scared of seeing Albion acting like that. With everyone landing on the ground rolling a bit to reduce the impact before heading towards the next area without looking back. The screen turns towards the enraged Lao Shan Lung, showing its back are covered in flames still burning from the explosion just now, with it continuously ramming its back all over the wall of the canyon, trying to put off the flame before moving forward. Support from Guild B. War retreat everyone retreat. With all the supporters from the guild scrambling running away from the top of the canyon to avoid falling down towards the valley below from the shaking. Gabriel. Breathe a sigh of relief seeing those at the top of the canyon safely manage to retreat back to safety dear father good thing they managed to retreat in time. Griselda. You're right Lady Gabriel, there's many close calls remembering some nearly fall down before being saved by their colleagues. Irina. Despite being a normal person, those people are truly brave to help them. Julio. You're right. Scene change fortress area 6. Scene showing everyone was carrying a cannon bomb of their own, while carefully moving on the path treading through the road that was littered with fallen corpse of Velocipres, Jopres, Genpres, Iapres and Remobras. Odin. Damn that was total massacre eh? Those palicos really doesn't hold back. Or. Those palicos are Valhalla worthy. Roswis. Indeed they are. Alder. Haha ha, hate to admit but those palicos was even better warrior than most of our troops. Bider. Is that even a question? Those cats hunting monsters on daily basis, either. Whistle impressed before turning towards his say volley, drag and Albion dam I have to say that the palicos of you four really don't hold back a. Eh? All four of them puff their chest proudly hearing the praise for their palicos, they say. That's why they are our trusted partner, Ali. There totally is. BDRAIG and Albion. Plus the best comrades to ever have, Maria. Our palicos would be shocked seeing this, wouldn't you girls agree? Alyssa. He I got what you mean, Seal. Hi Say Chan Vaffer Chan, Rag Chan and Albert Chan were really cool. Flair. They truly are. Scene change fortress area 5. With everyone finally arrived with the scene showing Hi Say Vaffer Rag and Albert just finished disposing the last horde of Remobras before turning towards them with a salute. Hi Say Vaffer Rag Albert. Me itch if either we have hold down the fort, those nasty annoyances wouldn't bother us, either. Give thumbs up nice you four good job. While the girls are patting the palicos head while praising them, Issei Vali, Drag and Albion go to their own respective palicos, bumping their own fist with before saying they are proud of having an exceptional partner like them, either. Alright everyone are all of you ready? Everyone. We are always ready. With everyone turned towards the looming figure in distance showing the approaching Lao Shan Lung. While everyone feeling excited in their seat especially after hearing the music before some are cheering towards the screen, Issei. Alright other me go for it, Ali. Show that dragon who's the boss, Drake. Go and rev it up other me, Albion. Get your game on other me. While office, Lilith and other children's are waving large flag together that have face of those in the screen, while those who are watching can't help but to take their picture, seeing how adorable it is. With everyone unsheath out their weapons getting ready, either. Alright then, let's go. But this say volley Drake and Albion following either and the lead jumping down to the ground below before charging towards Lao Shan Lung. Five of them. Oog. While the girls are providing ranged support on top of the gate shooting every ammo they got while the palicos are using the cannons and ballistas as another ranged supports. DDRAIG and Albion. Here's some eye treatment for ya. But both of them using blast dash flying forward, slamming down the tip of their lance at both Lao Shan Lung eyes, before unleashing all available shelling following up with wyvern fire, making a loud explosion with Lao Shan Lung arched at head back roaring in pain from the unexpected moves. Either. Nice one my turn, with either running forward while scraping his greatsword on the ground before delivering ground slash right at the moment when Lao Shan Lung head was close to the ground, staggering it making it temporarily standing up from the pain. Issei. Here's a chance. Ali. Let's go Issei. But both of them running forward before both Drag and Albion grab their hand and throw them to Lao Shan Lung exposed stomach. BDRAIG and Albion. Guo. While still in mid-air both of them start spinning before using spiral slice drilling through Lao Shan Lung's stomach, making it roaring in pain. I and Vali. Worieg. Ritsuka. Wueya that was awesome. Iku. Oh man that was epic. Ow cow. 
Not gonna lie, I'm feeling pump up right now. Scene showing everyone continuously moving around dealing as much damage as possible with Lao Shanlung, was on its last legs head enough before charging forward and ramming its entire body to the fortress, making those who were above it are thrown back to the wall from the impact before slide down barely conscious. Maria Alyssa Seal Claire. Gahirk. I say Vafa Ray Galber. Naya. Most of those watching can't help but gasp feeling worried for them. Asia. Oh no someone help them. Rainer. Someone please do something. The Kabiel. This isn't good if that dragon ramming again several times that fortress would fall. But those watching watches with bated breath seeing everything was at the critical moment. Either. Don't worry, it's about to end. The DRAIG and Albion. Oh no you bucking don't. But both of them amped up their gun lance with dragon breath before flying forward with blast dash to each side of Lao Shan Lung legs before unleashing amped up AA flare to Lao Shan Lung legs, making it roar in pain before fall to its knees, making it leaning forward at the fortress. Either. After seeing Lao Shan Lung position before turning to say and volley a say volley here's your chance. But both of them realizing what either was talking about spare no time before activating demon mode and wolf's maw, before running towards either and jumping in front of him with either using the flat side of his greatsword, launching both of them to Lao Shan Lung at high speed. ISSEI and volley. Do orgs surpass the limits. But both of them starting from the tip of Lao Shan Lung tail, using the spinning blade dance, spinning like buzzsaw going up to the top, making Lao Shan Lung roaring in pain, before both of finally land and turn back towards Lao Shan Lung head and delivering demonic dance, continuously slashing furiously at its face before turning towards the Dragonator trigger, holding up their dual swords. ISSEI and volley. Now DE. But both of them using both pommels of their dual swords hitting the trigger activating it making the four Dragonators sprout out and piercing for Lao Shan Lung body, effectively killing it once and for all. But those after seeing that their object of their hunt is defeated let out victorious cheer. Everyone. Ohh yeah. Scream close. But nearly everyone cheering from excitement after seeing the epic scene. They say. Whoa that was awesome. Ali. Totally is the way the other US slashing their way going up is epic. Greg. I have to say that they really surpassed their limits by pulling that stunt. Albion. Did anyone record that? I'm gonna watch it over and over again. Iku. Slam his fist on his armrest dam at the scene was too epic I forgot to record it. But many can't help but feel disappointed hearing that. Skeeth. Ha I know that all of you would want to see that scene again I already recorded that. Now line up everyone will have their own copy. But most of everyone giddily lining up to get their own copy of that scene. Scene showing everyone finally calm down. Either. With a grin Sue. How was it was the hunt enjoyable? Ritsuka. Oh totally is man you guys surely put up an awesome show. Armani. And all of you can do that despite being a normal human in that world was awesome. Shiru. Yeah no mana prana magic, superpower and anything, just pure human ability that demand respect. Pow cow. What I can say is every hunter in that world deserves to be called a hero for dealing with such things on a daily basis. With everyone else nodding in agreement hearing that. Peter. Give thumbs up yeah all of you are a hero. Either. He, thank you for the compliment, Skeeth. Alright, well all of you was watching just now me, and Corbinic already took some time cooking, knowing that all of you would be famished after the viewing, Sue. Who's up for a feast? With everyone brought their hand up after their stomach growling in hunger at the same time, Corbinic. Alright, let's go eat everyone, with everyone heading towards the dining room for a feast, Skeeth. Walking slowly making him at the back of the group before turning towards the readers well, nothing much to say, just hope everyone enjoyed this chapter here some pictures for everyone to enjoy Chao leave joining others after throwing some pictures for readers. Ep 50 Path to the Master Rank Part 1, Skeeth House Living Room, scene showing Issei who just came into the room yawning while scratching his back before gasping in shock upon seeing that both of Shiru arms was in a sling. Issei. Ga what just happened Shiru-san? All the rest of Xcast cast that just came into the room were also puzzled after seeing Shiru condition. Shiru. Turn to everyone else before answering a say question for your question just now it was after effects from borrowing the replica of Skeeth's and dual guns over there using his head pointing at the dual guns on the display. But most of Xcast cast blinking owlishly in disbelief hearing that. Michael. But that doesn't make any sense. Sure it was just a replica but how did you get such damage just by using it? Ritsuka. Well. About that. It sounds unbelievable but. Peter. Shiru got such damage just by firing for a mere moment only. Ramani. Grimace remembering what happened before speaking not even all of us expect that when it happens. Ali. Seriously. Olga. It is we never thought that such guns would pack so much power from it. Shiru. Those dual guns got quite a recoil I'd say. But Shiru Ritsuka Olga Peter and Ramani are brought into a small flashback remembering what actually happened yesterday. Small flashback start. Skeeth. So you're asking me to borrow the replica of my guns over there for a while. 
raise an eyebrow while using his thumb pointing at the replica of his guns on the display case before shrugging well, I don't mind go for it, but Skeeth take out of the guns from the display case before giving it to Shiru, Shiru. Trying hard to hold back his excitement while taking the guns thank you for letting me borrow this Skeeth san, Skeeth. You're welcome I got somewhere to go first leave the room, Ritsuka. Trying to hold back his amusement when seeing Shiru face while remembering SERAP.H event when facing against BB Go Yep, both him and Amiya were the same, both of them were secretly wanted to use dual guns, can't blame them that dual guns looks really cool. Scene change Keith house training area, scene showing Ritsuka Olga, Peter and Romani are watching Shiru getting used to the dual guns, Shiru. Hmm. These dual guns are pretty good the balance is perfect using the blades cutting through any incoming attacks from the drones, the blades are sharp too I don't even need much effort to cut through those attacks, not to mention that I'm unable to trace it to gain any information from this dual guns I wonder what it was made of, well then, time to see how much power this dual guns pack take aim before pulling the trigger, Olga. Turn to Romani from your estimation what is your opinion about that dual guns, Romani. Scratching his chin before replying him. Like the dual blades, broadsword and scythe on the display, we see my safest bet is that those weapons are truly empty like, you can pour something to it and can easily take it out from my estimation, Ritsuka. So basically in game terms you can put any abilities in those weapons wasn't it? With Romani nodding confirming Ritsuka guess, Peter. That's a pretty powerful ability for those weapons to have start thinking don't tell me that we can just put infinity stones to those weapons to gain the stones ability. Blinking before shuddering that's pretty scary thought when thinking about it, meanwhile with Skeeth, Skeeth. Who dot I think I forgot something. What is it huh? Widened his eyes in realization after remembering what it was oh shit. But Skeeth teleport back to where Shiru and everyone else in hurry before shouting at Shiru, Skeeth. Oh I Shiru don't pull the trigger ye seeing it was too late seeing that Shiru already pulled the trigger oh boy. But the dual guns unleashed a continuous massive blast of energy in rapid motion that destroys everything in its path, while well, both of Shiru arms are nearly torn to pieces from the recoil, making him yell out in pain from the unexpected pain, before dropping the dual guns on the floor and falling to his knees, with his body still convulsing from pain, while everyone panicked from the unexpected event before rushing forward to Shiru and worry, Skeeth. Brought up Shiru over his shoulder before healing both of Shiru arms, sorry I forgot to tone down those dual guns more Shiru, it's my fault, Shiru. Still grimacing from phantom pain before talking well. I got to say that it was really powerful guns you have, totally worth it to fire it. Ritsuka. Yeah that attack was so powerful. It reminds me a bit of King Gilgamesh Anuma Elisher Artoria Excalibur. But on greater magnitude but I just hope that I'm wrong. Skeeth. Chuckle sheepishly before talking sure that the power of that replica of dual guns was far cry to the original one in my possession, like about 1 to a thousand at least, before I upgrade the original one, strengthening it further but each blast just now was comparable to combined blast of unsealed Excalibur full-powered Enuma Elish and full-powered Rangaminiad at once, but Ritsuka Olga and Ramani jaw drops before shouting in shock, Ritsuka Olga Ramani. Wait what? Peter? Looking back and forth between Skeeth and others before talking well, judging from everyone's reaction. It must be a big deal, huh? Shiru. Mouth gaping still speechless before speaking while glancing at the dual guns on the floor where he dropped it, and the original one without upgrades was more than a thousand times stronger. Huh? I got to say it again. Using those guns was totally worth it. Bull Skeeth let out a shrug as a response before put both of Shiru arms in a sling for now. Small flashback end. Shiru. So basically I'm stuck a little bit like this sure, both my arms are healed but, the phantom pains are still there temporarily making both of my arms unusable, I say. Man. Guess it was to be expected for weapons to someone like Skeeth San Caliber good thing any of us didn't try to ask Skeeth San to borrow any of those weapons, together with most of X cast glance at four weapons in display holding back a shiver, remembering Shiru condition, if not dot nope I don't want to think about it, Ali. Same like you dude, I'm a battle junkie myself but not that suicidal, either. Came in the room together with Skeeth and Corbinic did I miss something? Skeeth. Without everyone noticing and together with and Corbinic turns towards the readers speaking to them, okay dot I know I'm late addressing this, considering how many chapters since he first showed up but, this is the usual outfit either has been wearing all these time, while living in my domain and yes the left eye of his are still blind, while the scar over his left eye was similar like Kakashi, scar, and the necklace he got from JVENOM10 was under his cloth, speaking of JVENOM10 I hope you don't mind if his necklace was like this I customized it to be round shape, and has that symbol below engraved on the both sides of the necklace, brought out a picture of how either necklace looks like for readers to see, and speaking of Peter usual outfit it was like Toby Peter Parker from No Way Home, don't blame me I like this kind of clothes, and it just screamed Peter Parker, Corbinic. 
and for Ritsuka Olga and Romani, they currently are wearing what they usually wear with Ritsuka wearing Arctic version of Chaldea uniform, and if some wish to see them in different clothes as their usual clothes, they can send their suggestion in my dialogue here I just hope it wasn't exaggerated and only chose that was casual, but Skeeth and Korbanek turned back to join the conversation with everyone else, Shiru. Nothing much it was about both of my arms here, either. I see remembering when he first seen Shiru condition and being told about it anyway me, Skeeth San, San and Karbonik San, have just finished making some meals for lunch for everyone here, let's go everyone, with everyone heading to the dining room eating some lunch while Shiru glaring at his plate, while well wondering how he's gonna eat before noticing Peter take up some spoon to feed him, Peter. Here Shiru I know that you are unable to use your arms to eat right now, let me help you, Shiru. OOT thank you for the gesture with his eyes wildly glancing around, but are stupefied seeing that everyone except Skeeth and Korbanek doesn't notice what is currently happening, Skeeth. Send a telepathic message to Shiru don't worry Shiru, me together with, and Korbanek already put some illusion barrier around you, and Peter the first know it was embarrassing being seen like that so just go eat without worry, but Shiru let out a breath of relief before thanking him and taking Peter's offer of helping him to eat, Bisaka. Noticed that Skeeth Korbanek and either wasn't eating him, What's wrong you for why you four doesn't eat, Skeeth? Well me and Korbanek are fasting today and for either, either. Same like them, decided to give fasting a try too, guessing that it wouldn't hurt. After a while with everyone finally done eating, they head towards the viewing room taking their own seat. Screen open. Three days later, scene change Yukumo village. A scene showing Issei Vali Drag and Albion was talking to each other while preparing for their master rank promotion quest, with each of them wearing Zinager armor set and Nargakuga dual blades as their weapons. Issei. I got to say this again I kinda envious that our other self managed to wear every of those cool armors, Ali. Hate to admit but I'm on the same page as you, those armors they've been wearing are pretty cool, Greg. Hmm. Seems like both me and Albion also decided to use dual blades too, Albion. My guess is that whatever monsters they would be facing must be strong or fast enough to make them use weapons that can help them move faster across the entire battlefield, Ritsuka. Turn to either speaking of armor and weapons, either send how many you have, either. Get reminded that he has every single weapon and armors for every monster he has hunts at his disposal before replying, while well, shrugging at odd and OT much, just a lot more than other average hunters out there. While well, nearly everyone else can't help give him a scrutinizing look not believing what he just said. Serzich. Why I feel that wasn't actually the case. Azazel. Chuckle who knows, maybe he got armor and weapons for every single monster he hunts but no way that's possible where he gonna put all of those things with the rest of cast, given not agreeing with Azazel's statement. Skeeth. Chuckle amused hearing that while thinking hey, they are still naive, never underestimate the storage box, and Korbanek. All hail the storage box, they say. It's finally the day huh? Ali. Yup it is this would be the hardest quest we ever attempted since we start our hunting career, Greg. Agreed, considering the three monsters we have to hunt, this is going to be hard, Albion. Ha agreed is an understatement what matters we need to be in full alert in this quest, Bali. Yeah with serious expression I promise I won't be fooling around in this quest, everyone that is the death sentence last time is enough, but the other three giving him a look that says you better be, Ali. You better be other me glaring at his other self on the screen, they say. Anyway before we head out, guess we wouldn't see either San for a while how he together with Maria San, and the others are heading towards the Kimura village as a request to help them with rampage problem, Greg. It is not gonna lie I would miss him he was a great mentor to us when we started, Albion. Well how about after we are done with our quest and getting used to the master rank quest we go over there to visit him I was kinda curious what kind of village over there seeing that village are always plagued with rampage, Odin. Caressing his beard whom he is right, honestly I also am curious about the rampage too, or. Same with me too father, Michael. Must be a dangerous occurrence for either San have to go there, either. Oh it is the rampage was quite nasty to handle, especially if it involved the higher tier of monster, Ollie. Let out a Cheshire grin knowing him, seems like there would be more girls that would join either San Harem too wasn't it? Either. Covering his face out of embarrassment oh come on dot why those four always love talking about my love life. Noticed others grin nope I'm not gonna tell all of you about the others that I also was in a relationship with let out a huff after saying that while others chuckle amused after seeing either outburst. Well the other three let out a smirk hearing that, they say. Heh, you're right, anyways, everyone ready? Greg. Heh ready. I'm always ready bump both of his fists together while grinning, Albion. It's all or nothing, Ollie. Let's do this guys, with everyone giving a nod between each other before everyone leaves the village towards the place of their designated quest, either. A little information master rank promotion quest was actually a master rank quest and the monsters from master rank was many times stronger than their counterpart from higher while Ritsuka Peter Shiro Romani and Olga write the information on their notebook to prepare when following either going to that world in the future, Iku. 
Well shit, this gotta be intense hunt, Arthur. You're right, monsters that were on master rank must be overwhelmingly powerful to hunt, I say. You can do it other me. But some others give their word of encouragement to the screen. Scene changed nighttime misty peaks area 1. Scene showing 4 of them are making a plan after a quick recon, I say. Alright guys, from what we just found out, one of the monsters was in area 2, while the other one was at area 4, and thankfully the last one was at area 9 we got to defeat the other two first before going after the last one, Ali. Sue so who goes with who and against which. But the four of them were thinking a bit before Drake started to speak. Drake. Hmm. Might sound weird coming from me considering our past history but it's better for me and Albion to team up against the one at area 2. Albion. Drake is right seeing that both of us was actually a dragon, it's better for us both to go on the one at area 2. Drake. Oh who, this gotta be interesting, seems like we will actually see how our other self will team up actually. Albion. Not gonna lie I kinda interested with this development. While well, those from Xcast were also interested in seeing both heavenly dragons will be teaming up, I say. Very well me and Vali will take on the other one, Vali. Before that. But four of them brought out Mega Juice Mega Demondrig and Mega Armor Skin, drinking it as preparation before going on separate ways. Surzich. Well, seems like they truly take this mission secretly seeing that they drink those things. Skeeth. Notice some already glanced at his way making him chuckle well seems like some of you are curious about those items those four are drinking, I'll be brief Mega Demondrig and Mega Armor Skin, give Hunter a certain amount of increased strength and durability, that curiously enough will last for the entire quest but, it will lose its effect, if the Hunter got carded, while Mega Juice give infinity stamina to those that drink it for around 6 minutes, while its inferior version called Power Juice last for 3 minutes, Azazel. Let out a small whistle feeling impressed damn no matter how short the duration is gaining infinity stamina wasn't a small matter plus, the one gives a semi-permanent increase to durability and strength, no matter how small it is those items were a total game changer if it exists in our world, Michael. You're right Azazel, gaining infinity stamina was a big deal, anyone can fight as long as they want if they got a steady supply of mega juice, Odin. Infinity stamina huh was in deep thought before he got an epiphany making him let out small nosebleed, while letting out perverted giggle man I would love to have those mega juice haha. <laughs> while other perverts in the room are realizing what Odin was thinking about can't help but let out a small trace of nosebleed from their nose, while trying to hold back a perverted giggle of their own while, some others shaking their head in exasperation or chuckle from amusement, scene change Misty Peaks Area 4, scene showing both Issei and Bali was crouching behind one of the ruined houses observing their target, while most of the audience watching can't help but swallow their saliva feeling nervous after seeing the master rank version of Deviljo, Genshiru. Sweating nervously are you kidding me? Compared to the one we see in the high rank version this master rank version of Deviljo presence was stronger. All the dragons in the room narrow their eyes at the master rank version of Deviljo and can't help but feel nervous seeing it, Britra. Not to mention. Its dragon element energy was more potent. Tannin. Heck bet this version of Deviljo could single-handedly fight with the two Deviljo those four meet back then in previous viewing when hunting Kirapeko and came out on top, Ali. I'm crazy for saying this but I'd rather get hit with Samuel blood than being hit with its dragon element attack, I say. Same I agree with you I pick of being put together with Trahixa in a room, rather than that thing let out small shiver when accidentally imagining that, great red. Can't blame you hatchling from what we learned, every monster from that world would totally become invincible if they were in another world, scene showing office Lilith, Selwinota Kenshin Uesugi and Natsu hiding behind Issei in fright after seeing Deviljo, office. That thing. Scary. Lilith. Lilith scared. But this say hugged them protectively seeing that. Skeeth notes okay, seeing that there's two Natsu one from my fairy tale in my domain, and Cat Lion Natsu belonging to say from, now on I will change Cat Lion Natsu name to this Natsu, to spare everyone from confusion. But both Issei and Vali give a nod to each other before both of them came out from their hiding place, with Issei throw out a flash bomb blinding Deviljo, making it roar in irritation, while Vali threw a smoke bomb camouflaging them. Issei and Vali. Let's go. But both of them using the smoke screen to their advantage continuously dashing through the smoke slashing through Deviljo entire body, making it roar in irritation, and after the smoke screen dissipate Issei are onto one of the houses near Deviljo, climbing to the top of it, before jumping to the top of Deviljo, continuously slashing through its hide, before jumping forward to ground upon noticing that Deviljo about to ram its body to one of the houses in an attempt to shake him off. Balvali ran before sliding to the ground below Deviljo slashing its legs before rolling to the side when noticed that it brought one of its feet up before stomping to where he previously was destroying the ground while making large tremor, making both Issei and Vali fall to their knees from the earthquakes. Vali. 
Freaking hell this thing is nuts the two we frauded high rank back then pale in comparison with this thing, oh should notice that Deviljo did a spin and used a tail whip against him, making him immediately cross both of his blades, in an attempt of defense to reduce the impact, seeing that he's still on his knees and unable to dodge in time. Upon contact Volley was launched at high speed to one of the houses, collapsing it making some the rubble fall on top of Volley on ground who was barely conscious, but many of those watching gasp in horror seeing that especially Lavinia. Lavinia. Virginia Kun. Volley. Albeit blushing a bit from embarrassment he hugged Lavinia as a sign of comfort to reassure her that his other self would be alright, it's alright I know that other me is tough, just trust him okay. But Lavinia despite being unsure give a nod before looking worriedly on the screen, while some of men upon seeing that can't help but secretly give volley thumbs up, as is all. I have to say if I was in that volley place, nearly all of my entire bones would be broken from that hit just now, Hafner. You're right the strength of that thing was massive, good thing that he has that armor protecting him, I say. Volley briefly shouted Bali in worry before gasp, seeing that Deviljo did a jump towards him, making him jump aside while throwing all of his poison meat in a single pile during mid-jump on further distance, and Deviljo was distracted upon seeing all those meats and headed towards those piles of meats, ignoring Issei before voraciously eating those meats without care, even if eating those meats would result in poisoning it, while using the chance Issei headed towards where Volley was at before brought him up throughout the rubble, while giving him some mega potion for Volley to drink to recover through the damage he just suffered just now. Serzic. That was a good call of him he used Deviljo gluttony against it to help Vali. Ali. Wiping his mouth after drinking those potions thanks Issei for the support darn it, seems like the mega juice duration is up, Issei. You're welcome, you're right, let's use this chance to drink one again while it was distracted, Ritsuka. Man it already passed 6 minutes ha I barely noticed it, Peter. Well, can't blame you when in the heat of battle, what looks like hours was actually short, but both Issei and Volley about to drink another mega juice, notice that both of their armor shine brightly, signaling latent power finally activates making them grin before drinking up their mega juice finishing it, Volley. Oh yeah let's do this, Issei. Here goes, but both of them activated feral demon mode, before rushing forward and doing a spiral slash, at unaware Deviljo tail severing it, making it roar in pain before fall to its side flailing after losing its balance from the loss of its tail, would both Vali and Issei use the chance to deliver slash after slash further damaging Deviljo further, Issei. Oh yeah that's it, Genshiru. That was awesome, Shiru. Turn to Skeeth Sand Skeeth Sand I noticed that their armor shines brightly, just now is it one of their armor effects? Skeeth. Yep it was an activation of latent power skill, for a certain amount of time it gives the user reduced amount of stamina use, while also gives an increased chance to deal more damage, after the user was in a battle against monster, after a set amount of time, this skill acted faster if the user keep attacking against any monsters. About latent power skill it has 5 levels, every level gives an extra 10% of reduced stamina, and increased chance to deal more damage. Corbinic. And since they are wearing a full set of high rank Zinager armor it gives max level of latent power skill so, they got 50% of reduced stamina use, and 50% of increased chance to deal more damage, Azazel. Together with some other whistle impressed damn now I can understand why both of them were excited, I mean who wouldn't when considering that skill, Armani. Sheesh, seriously that was kinda busted not to mention whatever other skill effects their armor currently has originally plus with the jewels they use for more skills, Shiru. Yeah, each of those armors in that world could easily give many servant skills a run of their money. Ritsuka. It is and it was just a high rank armor only we don't even know how much stronger armor it master rank was at. Olga. I dread if Mage Association will ever get even one of those armors. But Shiro Ramani Ritsuka and Olga hold back a shiver thinking about it. Peter. Man that Mage Association group must be bad if making you four shiver like that. Skeeth. Bad is an understatement Peter that group is that messed up, seen showing both Issei and Vali jump several steps back before sharpening their weapons, while Deviljo after getting up before roaring loudly, signaling it gone into rage mode, showing some of its pulsing red muscles, while its saliva was dripping down from its mouth to ground below, while growling angrily at Issei and Vali, before rearing its head back. Narrator. The pickle is not just hangry he's hungry, ISSEI and Vali. Oh shit with both of them widening their eyes knowing what the pickle is about to do, but in a split second without hesitation, both of them jump up before bringing out the mega barrel bomb, throwing it down to ground below, detonating it with the force of the explosion, launching them further up in the air, but nearly everyone jaw drops seeing what both of them just did, Iku. Are both of them crazy? Zioticus. Those bombs already pack quite an impact why do they do that? Either. Honestly that was the best course of action for them to do that, trust me, making many turn their heads towards him being bewildered, they say. Are you serious either San? Ali. I know that both of them want to avoid whatever the attack that Pickle wants to unleash what I'm confused about is why they use those bombs knowing it will injure them. Either. 
Hmm, rather than explain how about you guys just watch instead. But everyone turned back to the screen watching in anticipation. Right after that, Deviljo unleashes a devastating dragon element infused breath attack, destroying everything in sight, turning most part of the area that was once a lush green grassland, filled with ruined house to barren wasteland without sign of life. Let's just say literally everyone except Skeeth. Corbina can either jaw drops once again upon seeing that. Iku? Use his hand closing his mouth before speaking okay I take back my previous statement I mean who would want to get hit with that. Hiroka. Nodding seriously in agreement you're right that attack was really devastating no wonder Ski Sen said. Dragon element was more dangerous than Samuel blood it was too destructive even. Without using Sinjutsu I can see that there's no life left on place that got hit with that attack just now. Hineko. Nisan is right I already use Sinjutsu and like she just said, there's no sign of life at all. Surzich. I'm so glad that monster didn't exist in our world if not. While well, Ritsuka can't help but remember his world noticing the sight similarity with bleached white earth making him shiver. Skeeth. Remember on previous viewing when they reminisce about Kuropeko hunt where their armor was mostly destroyed after they managed to defeat two Deviljo. But Ks cast nodding especially a say, Volley, Drake and Albion where their eyes twitched out of annoyance, remembering the bird treatment against their other self. Michael. Yes we remembered what is it about Skeeth San. Skeeth. Their half-destroyed armor was the result of being caught off guard and getting hit with the same breath attack you guys just see just now. And seeing that the one they're hunting right now was more powerful than one they hunt back then, and their armor was just a high rank version they don't want to take any chances. Horbanik. And dragon element energy from Deviljo was among the top of every monster out there so just think about it. But Xcast let out an uwu as a response hearing that before grimacing knowing that other essay and volley action was understandable. Diamat. Well, guess it was understandable seeing those two do that. Prom Kruich. Heck I bet if any of us dragons here didn't put our all into defense there was a high chance we would be severely injured or worse die. Making some sweating a bit hearing that. Great Red. Guess there's some merit with its title after all. With everyone continuing watching the viewing. They say. Damn it that was close. Bali. Yeah, like hell we gonna get hit with that again, and knowing that this one was on master rank, just bucking nope. But both of them gasped before flailing around helplessly still in the air after seeing Deviljo charging towards them before doing a body tackle to both them launching them to nearest wall. ISSE and Volley. Guark. But both of them fighting through pain trying to get up before Volley see Deviljo using it mouth scooping the ground before launching a boulder right in front of him with him unable to react before getting hit in the face with said boulder launching him back further for quite a distance from the impact separating him away from his A. Volley. Oh come on not again. Albion. Alright calm down there not like you can blame him even I can't help but win seeing that. Balsam that heard Albion's statement can't help but nodding in agreement with him. His A. Shit volley. But this A turned back towards Deviljo, seeing it did a forward bite before spinning making him jump aside, evading said bite attack were unknown to him it was just a feint from Deviljo, and while in middle of its spins, Deviljo scooped its severed tail in its mouth, before tossing it towards his A, who was unable to react in time before getting hit with the severed tail, knocking him to his back, either. Noticed nearly everyone giving him the look of disbelief him. What's wrong? This A. How the hell did you manage to hunt those three Deviljo at the same time back then either San? either. Give a shrug before responding well I got tons of experience, besides most quests on master rank were like that so it's like every Tuesday to me. Greg. You're one hell of daredevil either send you got my respect for surviving all these time, give him a salute with many following suits. Either. With him giving a thankful nod seeing that before thinking with a blank face daredevil eh. There are more daredevil hunters out there than me I remembered that there's a dude that literally hunts in nothing but underwear.now, that's what we call true daredevil. Well Skeeth and Korbanek hides a grin knowing what either was thinking about before remembering Peppo Team Darkseid Jocket and many more of their Monster Hunter hunting videos. While struggling to fight through the dizziness from the hit just now when getting up, Issei let out a gasp before widened his eyes in horror, seeing Deviljo already in mid-jump towards him, making him unable to react in time before Deviljo doing a pin attack and continuously trying to bite Issei, who continuously rolling all over avoiding each bites, trying to avoid being Deviljo next meal. While many of the audience especially Mickey nearly feign to Upon seeing alternate versions of her son situation, making both Issei and Goru worried while looking after her, while others giving a grim look seeing what currently happening. There he is. Issei. Worriedly looking at other Issei on the screen. Rainer. Come on. Please be safe. Together with some others praying for other Issei's safety, hoping him to make through his situation. Issei. GRRR. I'm not gonna die here after getting a second wind he continues to throw every tainted meat at his disposal into Deviljo's mouth while avoiding each bite, while holding back an urge to throw up from Deviljo's smelly breath you rghh don't you ever brush your teeth you damn oversized pickle. Your mouth smells like bucking congolala fart you bucker. They say. 
Like his other self he can't help but feel an urge to throw up when accidentally imagining he was in his other self place or dot pardon guys. I'll be back. But this a getting up from his seat running to the bathroom with many following suits feeling nauseous when they too accidentally imagining they was another essay place. Sirzic. Erg. I don't know what Kongalal is. But I don't think it was anything but pleasant. Break. Same. Judging from other essay reactions, the fart of Kongalala must be horrible. Be either. Horrible ha. Oh yeah, totally bucking is. Talking with a malicious smile while both of his eyebrows twitched uncontrollably, making some shift nervously in their seat upon seeing his expression while whispering between each other. Ritsuka. I don't think I want to ask about it. Olga. Better not to Ritsuka kun, that would be a bad idea. Ramani. Yeah, it must be a horrible experience for him to make him react like that. Well with Vali who just got up let out a shock gasp when CSA situation before he rushed forward and jumped on top of Deviljo, while activating Feral Demon Mode, before furiously deliver slash after slash to deal as much damage as possible to stop Deviljo from trying to make Issei as its meal. Ali. Back off from my little brother. Well Issei upon seeing Deviljo flinch during mid-bide after received enough damage from Vali he used the opportunity to throw another mega barrel bomb to its mouth, making Deviljo nearly chokes when the bomb was stuck in its mouth, before he rolled aside before getting up and ran away to small distance but not before throwing several small barrel bombs at the mega barrel bomb. But at the same time when Vali noticed Issei throw his mega barrel bomb at Deviljo mouth he decided to jump off from top of Deviljo body before turning back towards Deviljo, throwing both of his mega barrel barrel bombs on his disposal at Deviljo head, when Issei's small barrel bombs detonate making a large explosion. Shiru. Whistle impressed nice one no way it won't feel that. Peter. Yep, that's one big explosion there. When the smoke from the explosion cleared out both Issei and Vali noticed that albeit its head was bloody from the explosion, with most spikes on its jaw being broken, off it was still growling at both of them, but most of the audience jaw dropped seeing it was still standing despite all that. Great red. Booking hell dot that was one tough son of a bitch there. Either. Thinking amusedly heh. There's more tough bastard all of you would see in the future. Bali. Oh you're kidding me sure it was the master rank version but this is bullshit. They say. Bullshit or not, here it comes. But both of them preparing themselves seeing Deviljo take a step towards them but it stopped being paralyzed, feeling the after effects from being fed with all the tainted meat back then. ISSEI and Vali. Grin menacingly when seeing the opportunity let's buck and guo. Without wasting chance, both of them charging forward and like a storm of blades, they moved all over Deviljo delivering slash after slash, making it bloody all over. After quite some time with the paralysis are cleared off, it roar loudly before taking a step back before charges forward doing a body tackle at both Issei and Vali, knocking the air out of them, launching them to nearest house, making it fall above after collapsing half, burying them among the rubble. Issei. Girk. Vali. Girk, but Deviljo turned around before limping to escape towards Area 5. After getting up and clearing out their dizziness from the attack just now, both of them sharpening their weapons and doing the necessity before running chasing after their target, with both of them talking with each other while running. They say. Not gonna lie my life flashes over my head when that pickle is trying to bite me just now. Ali. Can't blame you who wouldn't that thing is terrifying now I wonder how is Albion and Drake's situation right now. They say. Let's just hope that they're doing well you know how tough those two are what matters right now, we need to kill that pickle fast, and hope those two kill their target fast too, before all four of us regrouping to fight against the last one. Bali. Yeah we need to team up to hunt the last one or we would be screwed. But both of them grimacing knowing what monster was in the area 9 while continue running towards area 5 jazzing after Deviljo. But the screen shift from both of them to foggy sky tonight. Screen close. With everyone else getting up while some stretching to remove the knot in their muscles from sitting too long. Skeeth. Together with and Corbinic turns towards others well sorry about this but we got somewhere important to go you guys do your own thing. Without hearing everyone's response, three of them disappear into a portal making everyone dumbfounded. They say. Scratching back of his head hum dot I wonder where they have to go seeing that they are in a hurry. Asia. Gasp upon seeing a safe face while looking worriedly at a miss a sen. What's wrong? They say. Hum. What's wrong with Asia? But others also look worriedly at a say like Asia after seeing a safe face before Ravel pointed it out. Ravel. It's just that. You're crying right now. They say. Huh. Slowly brought his hand up using his fingers feeling his face, and noticed that he indeed was crying h huh dot w what's wrong with me dot why am I crying? Suddenly he can't help but feel a wave of sadness wash over him, making him cry further with him trying to use his sleeve to wipe his tears, but to no avail wy dot why for some reason that I can't help but feel that someone great just leaves us. Like a damn broken everyone else also can't but feel the same, and also start crying like a say, 
feeling the loss of someone great that they don't know but deserve their respect. While everyone that lived across the entire Skeeth domain also can't help but cry feelings the loss of someone great before they decided to start mourning the loss. Scene change in a certain cemetery. Scene showing Skeeth Corbinic, Tsukasa Deadpool sell the rest of Devil Artemis cast and many others with solemn face taking turns putting a bouquet of flowers on a certain someone grave. But the words on the grave written with rest in peace Akira Toriyama. While each person giving their own respect making a solemn atmosphere for a while before Skeeth start talking. Skeeth. Okay. I'm not good with my words and will be briefly talking knowing no matter how long or short I talk. Everyone understands the message slowly take a shaky breath before talking thank you. Thank you Akira Toriyama sensei thank you for staying with us all this time and delivering such a masterpiece to us. Thank you for coloring our entire childhood with Dragon Ball and the rest of your works now rest well in peace champ no matter what other people say. You're the GOAT using his fingers to wipe his tears before Korbanek, Tsukasa, Deadpool Kermit Shalit and Cell put their hand on his shoulders as sign of support. But most of everyone wiping their tears, while some are sniffing in sadness. Deadpool. Man. I miss him. I can't believe that he already left us. Sniff. Yeah. Even I can't believe it when I hear the news. Horbanek. It's always the great one who always leaves us first. Tsukasa. With a solemn face glancing at the sky and noticed that it was getting cloudy, seems like even the sky also wants to cry, huh? Cell. First it was him. Now it was. Was. Start sobbing while others patted his shoulder as a sign of support. Hermit. Just let it all out Cell. Everyone understands your feelings. Shall it? Now come on Cell I know that you wanted to visit his grave too, let's go. Zarban. Yeah, let's go. Dot. He's waiting for us too. After everyone is done paying their respect the sky starts to rain drizzle, making the ground wet and with Cell in the lead, everyone heading towards another person's grave to pay their respects. But the words on the grave written with rest in peace lick Goku. After everyone is done put a bouquet of flowers of their own and paying their respect with Cell, after finally collecting himself take a shaky breath and start to talk through tears. Cell. It's. Already more than a year. Since your death huh friend. First it was you. N-O-W it was Akira Toriyama sensei. I, I hope that you're well up there with Akira Toriyama sensei up there too. Noticed a familiar shades on the grave making him smile a bit here. Huh? Seems like he already pay a visit to huh? But Cell glance on a tree at a distance away seeing someone who was leaning back on the tree bark while crossing his arms using the shades of the tree as cover, with everyone after seeing it clearly sees that it was actually Prince Vegeta. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want the next part. Also check out my other video that has been shown and left. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this video please like and share this video. And have a fantastic day bye.